what we're seeing taking place on the surface right now that looks like looming war is a war, but it's not for the narratives that we're told what's taking place right now is a war for the maintenance of the false matrix because there are stargates in the Middle East that are very important ones. They control the entire planetary stargate system and that is what this is all about. So we're going to talk today about stargate wars and how this is nothing new. Any war that you've seen breaking out on the planet has been either a war for dominance of a timeline or for control of a stargate. And this stargate that's beginning to rumble and come to life again, right there in the Middle East, right there in that conflict zone, is threatening to be the undoing of the false matrix itself. So let's understand what exactly these stargates are. The best way I can explain it to you is to explain it by looking at the body. If you went to an acupuncturist, an acupuncturist would look at the node points on your body, that's where the needles go, and when the needles touch those node points, it opens the node point. And when the node point is opened, universal life force flushes that meridian, and the meridian is restored. Cellular communication starts happening again, the body comes online again, and we begin to heal the planetary body is no different. We understand chakras, right? And we think, well, these are the energy centers of the body, but they're just some of the energy centers of the body. The truth is there are thousands of these energy centers, thousands of these node points. The important piece here is that they are a communication network. The brain is a brilliant example. It's a neural network. All of the, if you saw the neural network of the brain, you would see exactly what the cosmic network looks like. These lit up node points with filaments connecting node point to node point. These are communication highways and the cosmic field looks exactly like that. But Earth has been separate, cut off and disconnected. So the stargates on planet Earth were shut down. So there's a reason why you've seen so many pictures of planet Earth with a net around it. That net really represents the field, the quarantine field that has surrounded planet Earth. Now, initially, initially that was set up on purpose by the orchestrators of the false matrix. That was set up because they wanted dominance, obviously, of the planet. This was part of the hijacking of the planet out of her original creation template and into the false matrix. The false matrix, part of what sustained it was the disconnect from the totality that we'd come from, from the universal life force that we were once plugged into and a part of. And at that point, we referred to this planet as Eden. Some refer to it as Gaia or Tara even in her higher consciousness. The point remains that planet Earth once existed in the organic creation template. And when she did, she was a hub, a central zone for all of the galaxies surrounding our part of the universe to connect. This was the jewel of not just the galaxy, but of the universe. That's what planet Earth was. So of course it was a great prize to take this, to unplug this from her home, her beautiful nest in the original cosmic creation. So originally the stargates were shut down by the controllers of the false matrix. They're called archons. They are videos. I'll link them in the video description box. As they were shut down, a mimicry system was established. The mimicry system is pretty much what the false matrix is. It's a mimic, a copy, a clone of what creation looks like. So the 3D that we're in is a copied version of 3D. There was also a copied version or a cloned version of 4D, which was also called the astral realm. I've spoken about how that's collapsed and lots of videos. Again, I'll link those in the description box below. Initially, wormholes were set up to mimic stargates. So in the natural universe, we have a stargate. And in the unnatural universe, the false matrix, we have wormholes. A wormhole is entered into by AI, by computer coding. A stargate is entered into by your body's natural encoding. In other words, you are the key in the natural living universe. You are the key that unlocks stargates and that facilitates that 
travel and connection, interdimensional, interplanetary or intraplanetary. So in other words, from one part of the planet to another, your consciousness would direct you and your body would be the key that would facilitate this flow, this travel. But a stargate is much more than that. A stargate is also a communication hub that allows the universe's voice, the universe's heartbeat, God's wisdom, God's intelligence to flow through the planetary body that connects in the natural universe the planet to the cosmic hubs and brings all of that life force communication, evolution, consciousness into our bodies, into the planetary body. So you understand, of course, why so many people on planet Earth are walking around going, oh, I'm so exhausted, I'm so tired, I've got no energy, I've got no life force. Of course, of course, because we've gone through this so many times, we're at a point of depletion and there's no fresh energy coming into the planet because all those stargates have been shut down. And right now we're at the very tail end, the very end of the false matrix. That's why that exhaustion is so amplified. It's kind of like people going, oh, there's just no air to breathe here. You know, there's, there's no life force to be had. There are those people who are immune from what's taking place. In other words, all the narratives that we're seeing taking place, the wartime narratives that we're seeing taking place on the planet, from the divide and conquer taking place, from the fear taking place, there are those who are immune to it. Those are the people who've gone through enough dark nights of the soul to have warranted a stabilized connection to their divine matrix. In other words, at the individual level, they have done the necessary work to plug themselves into the natural God world. And there are those people who don't yet have a stabilized connection. Those are the people who are very exhausted. They're floundering. They're all over the place. They're going through all the dark nights of the soul, trying to get themselves into that stabilized connection. By the way, I teach this level of work in my online community, the Plasma Light Tribe. You're most welcome to join. But for the sake of today's conversation, I'm going to be presenting you with the implications of your role in the resurgence and the re-establishment of the organic matrix right here on planet Earth. So stay with me because we've got a lot to talk about, right? We now understand a little bit more about what a stargate is, a little bit more about how we've got a stargate inside, uh, or rather a cosmic network inside the brain with many stargates, which we can see as the neural network. We're understanding that the body has these meridians, like the earth has ley lines, we're understanding that we're not so different after all from the way that earth's body works. Our lives, we've gone through this so many times, feel like they're falling apart, right? From time to time, I give you these videos, I talk about the ascension symptoms you may be feeling or about the energy that's going on on the planet. Many of you share in the comment section with me about what you're going through personally and how challenged you are, because it is challenging to have the false matrix from within crumble. It is then our job as the master of our reality to become exactly that, the master of our reality instead of the victim to it. And then to start taking the debris of the collapsed false matrix and alchemizing it into our higher truth, into the organic universe that we come from. Now, planet Earth is doing exactly the same thing which is why these stargates are becoming active, these stargates that were once shut down. Now, do you remember I said to you that once upon a time when the false matrix was first created, the creators, the orchestrators of the false matrix, they purposefully shut down the stargates, set up the wormholes. But watch my video Galactic Wars to understand more. Through many eons of Galactic Wars, even those wormholes were shut down which meant that there was no escape for the ones who were left here on the planet. Many were, to put it politely, invited to leave. And many sub-gods, like the Anunnaki, like the reptilians, many of them left. They were given that opportunity to leave. Those who stayed, they were going to move with this planet to the ascension point. They're trying, those on the planet, to stop that from happening. They're trying to stop these stargates from coming online to bring the reconnection of the natural universe, to bring the flow of information through these node points back to the planet. Now, it's happening at a small scale. As these stargates, however, open up, that's the equivalent of the acupuncturist, in this case, the divine acupuncturist, 
popping a needle into exactly that sweet spot to facilitate a golden filament erupting from that stargate to the next stargate. And through that, the entire planet begins to wake up. It's the groundwork for ascension to take place at the planetary and at the personal level. So what can you do? to support the process. And for those of you that are familiar with my videos, you'll know the answer is be the light, be the light, and then be the light some more. Because when you stabilize, remember I said some people are immune to all of the divide and conquer narrative. When you stabilized your reality and you're the master of it and you're not mastered by the external reality, but you are now the master of your own reality, at that point, you become a broadcast signal. And what I want you to do is just have this almost as something you would imagine, right? Imagine that there were flow in your body. Even if you don't feel it, just imagine what would it feel like if I had the universe flowing through every meridian of my body? What would that feel like if there was golden light flushing through me? Man, can you imagine you would start youthing instead of aging? You would gain vitality. You would gain wisdom. You would be alive. You would be in love, literally inside love. Imagine the flow of your body and then imagine that rippling out into the world. And then imagine the cosmic awakening how it answers, first at the planetary level, where the planetary consciousness answers your ripple, meets your ripple with her own, and shows you, oh, and this is what it feels like for me when I have the universe flowing through my body again, and the two of you go into a non-verbal, non-audible dialogue, also known as connection. And in that free flow, in that connection, you're sharing information that says, you know, from the planetary level, I was once this lonely island floating out there lost in the Milky Way. And you're going to say, oh, I was once this lonely island lost in my own life. And look at us now, regaining connection to each other, to divinity. We are rewiring and refiring. At the brain level, this is taking place. At the personal level, at the planetary level. And then that ripple that you've now added to moves beyond the planet and into the cosmic field around the planet and the cosmos itself begins to connect and unify with you. These are the implications. This is what this is all about <laughs> from the perspective of the orchestrators of the false matrix. It's all about how do we shut this down? How do we stop this from taking place? And spoiler alert, there is no stopping it. There is only how many people can we prevent from ascending? From the perspective of darkness, the archons and their cronies, it's, that's the only question they can ask. It's not, can we stop ascension? It is merely, how many people can we stop from ascending? This means it's time for you to take very seriously what ascension actually is for you and to take very seriously your role on the planet. Because it was always a case of the dark ones. They were calling all the shots. But now there's a counterbalance. And that's you. And that's me. And that's us. Light workers, star seeds, light bearers. We are the counterbalance. There doesn't have to be many of them in the same way that there are a very small number of dark ones on this planet. Very small. Less than 1% even. We're way more than 1%. These are the two factions on the planet right now that want to steer, that are capable of steering our timeline, our reality. And either you're going to be steered by the dark ones or you're steering. And that's entirely your journey. My name is Kerry Kay and it's been beautiful having this conversation with you. Go watch Galactic Wars, go watch Timeline Wars. Those are the two videos that really speak a little bit more to this concept of the world that we've lived in and how very different it actually is from what we've been shown from my heart all the way into yours. I do hope you feel it. Lots of love, everyone.